radioactivity. Tough stuff. Try to stay away from it, but on the other hand, you're bombarded by radioactive things all the time. So let's solve a radioactivity problem. This has to do with half-life. It says half-life of palladium 100. What percentage of the original amount is left after two weeks? Here's where a picture itself of the palladium 100 isn't going to do as much good. I don't know what a palladium 100 looks like. I mean, what might I draw? The nucleus? A hundred of nucleons sitting around and no thanks. We're not going to bother with that. It sounds way too much like chemistry. So what are we going to do? If you're stuck for a picture, think about it because maybe there's something you can draw that may be more helpful. In this case, it's going to be a graph. Let's draw a graph. The graph says what's the number of these undecayed nuclei left after a particular length of time. So it's number as a function of time. So what happens is it starts out being some particular number, and then it diminishes like this. And so as it goes down like so, there's the way this um, is decaying, and the point where half of the original sample is left is the thing that's called the half-life. So then at the point where it's 25%, there's another half-life that has elapsed, and so forth. So if you like, maybe the picture is helpful. I tend to like pictures of whatever. So then there's an equation that says n equals n0 e to the minus 0.693t divided by the half-life, t one half. So then, what is the problem one? It says, what percentage of the original amount is left after two weeks? Well, we can find the percentage just by taking n over n0. And so then this is just e to the minus 0.693t divided by t of the half-life, like so. So now it's calculator exercise time. We put in the time, which is two weeks. I suppose since we have it in days, we'll probably turn that into days and say 14 divided by 3.63, blah, blah, blah. This turns out to be 0 0.0691 as a fraction. It asks for the percentage, and so you turn this into 6.91%. So it says then that after two weeks, 6.91% of the original sample is left undecayed. So let's see. One way you can test this a little bit is you can say two weeks, that's 14 days, 3.63 days is the half-life. So this is about something like four half-lives. So it'll be 50%, 25%, 12 and a half, six and a quarter. So it's about like that, six and something percent. So it's about four half-lives, and that kind of makes sense. So if you're into the visualizing of mathematics, this will do it for you.